Hey guys, today we're going to be messing around with VMware vCenter Converter Standalone. And what this tool does really, um, you can if you got two ESXi hosts that are usually the free version because you don't have vCenter set up, um, you can actually take one VM from one ESXi instance to another. It's a great tool. Um, you can install on any virtual machine, your own desktop, and connect to those uh, two hosts uh, together. And then you can actually convert that machine from one host to the other host. So let's go right into it. You need to go to VMware, download the vCenter converter standalone software, install it, it's free. Um, so let's go ahead and hit convert machine. We're gonna go ahead and connect to our first host. So that's that IP there. We're gonna log in with our root. Hit next. We're gonna ignore that certificate. We're gonna select the VM we wanna move, which is this one. And you gotta remember, your VM has to be powered down. So keep that in mind. So you can't do a live migration. You gotta actually have that that VM powered down. So we're gonna go ahead and move our file and print server. So we're gonna hit next. And then we're gonna to connect to our destination system here. Uh, we probably have to select a couple of options before we get there, but let's see what we get here. Okay, now we're gonna type in our destination. Let me see if I can pull up that password. And it's actually, it's 235. And our root here. Hit next, and again, ignore that certificate. And you can see all those VMs on that particular machine. So we're gonna go ahead and you can actually rename this VM, but we're gonna leave it the same. So we hit next. And then we can actually select, if you have multiple uh, data stores, so we're gonna actually give it uh, the slower storage there. So we're gonna select that. Uh, VMware version 11 is fine. Hit next. And then we're gonna actually edit this because we wanna do thin provisioning, right? Because that VM is not utilizing almost two terabytes of data. It's utilizing probably about 500 gigs. So we wanna do thin provisioning on this so it's not doing the thick and taking all the space from the st server if it doesn't need it. Uh, we're gonna leave the memory alone, but you can adjust that here. Same thing with the CPU. We're gonna leave everything else to default um, since it should be fine because it's grabbing it from the other configuration from the other host. And we hit finish. Now, this is just a waiting game. So grab some coffee um, because depending on the size of your uh, VM that you're trying to move from one host to the other and depending on the drive speed, I mean, you have so many different variables here, your LAN speed, I mean, everything. Um, like this says only an hour and three minutes, but that's probably going to get bumped up to at least, I think, three to five. So it just, like I said, it just depends on your network, hard drive speeds, um, and everything else on that other server. So that's how easy it is you guys to take one VM from one host and move it to another host without using vCenter. Cause I know a lot of people love vCenter. You can do live migrations, all that jazz, but vCenter is not cheap. So here's a way to move one VM to another host without having vCenter involved. I know you can use the trial vCenter, but having you set all that up just to move a VM, I feel is kind of ridiculous. So I think that's where they came out with this tool. Um, I use it all the time to move VMs between all my hosts. Cause I have of course the free version. Um, so I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Leave any uh, comments below of this video if you can think of any ideas you want the channel to do. Like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Thanks.